A segment is two points and all the infinite points in between. So you write a segment with two capital letters, A, B, no commas, and a segment bar above it. So B, C would be all the points between B and C and including B, C. What you don't want to do is have A, comma, B. Or you don't want to have three letters, A, B, C, and a segment bar. It's always two letters with a segment bar above. A ray is a, has an end point or a starting point, whatever you want. I think the book says end point, but it, to me it's a starting point. And it extends infinitely, that's why there's an arrow, in one direction. So if this is A, B, I write it as A, B, a is where it starts, and you put a ray above it. The rays for notation always go to the right. BA is a totally different ray. So BA would look like this, that way. BA and AB are different rays. One starts at A and goes towards B. This one starts at B and goes towards A. That's different than a segment. Up here, a segment AB is the same thing as BA. BC is the same thing as CB. So you need to be really careful with the notation. Again, no commas, so don't do something like this, AB. Okay, make sure the arrow always goes to the right. Make sure the first letter is always the starting point. It could go this way as well. Just because the ray goes this way, your notation is still going to be CB. Okay, down here, for the example, name three segments. So there's there's a bunch of different segments you can name. I could name A, B, comma, C, D, comma, E, B, comma. There's a whole bunch of different ones. Name two rays that are the same. In order for rays to be the same, they need to have the same endpoint. So I'm going to go with I'll use C, and they need to be going in the same direction. So I'm going to pick that I go this way. So same end point, so ray would be C, go towards D, so I'll call it D. Second one would be C, go towards D, but this time it passes through E. So C, D, and C, E are the exact same ray. They both start at C and they go this way, because they both extend infinitely. Next one, name two pairs of opposite rays. Opposite rays have the same endpoint, but they go in opposite directions, and they have to make a line. So again, I'm going to start at C. So C, E goes that way. It starts at C. C, A goes the opposite way, and together C, E, and C, A make a line. Another example could be B, D, the ray B, D is opposite with, go the opposite way, start at B, B, A, ray on top. Skew lines are non-coplanar, and they never intersect. So if I have AB, a line that skew with it would, could not be on the top part, could not be on the top of this diagram. So it could not be AH, HJ, GC, or BC. So a skew line has to be on a different plane, so I'm going to use HF. H F is skew, so A B is non coplanar with H F. Even though H is on the same plane as A B, F is not, so they're non coplanar, so those are skew. Another set could be D E, the line D E, and then I'm going to have something else that's on the other side. I could not use J E, C J, or D C. I could use CB, so I'm going to say the line CB is skew with DE. These two are skew, these two are skew. P 
parallel lines are the lines that are coplanar and they never intersect. So if I take AB, let's see, it's kind of hard to tell if AB and CJ are parallel. So I won't use that because I can't really I can't really tell if that's parallel or not. But uh, how about I start with AG? So AG is parallel to BI because these two are both on the black back plane and which is parallel to HF. There's actually a lot of sets of parallel lines here and JE. Those are those are parallel. And I'll do a couple examples down here. So MN, what would that be skew with? So what's on an opposite plane and never is going to intersect? I would say OP. That's one example. There's many examples. LQ would also work to be skew with that. Um, actually, that would be it for those two. Now, parallel planes, if I have MN, or parallel lines, MN is parallel to LO, MN is parallel to RS, and MN is parallel to QP. Okay, name two segments that are parallel to XR. So here is XR. It's telling me that it wants to name a segment, so I need to use segment notation. So YZ, the segment is parallel, and also SQ, the segment is parallel. TV would also work, so I'll put TV. Oops, not, a, not array, segment, oops, TV. Okay, two, what is the intersection of SQV, this is a plane, and QRZ, this is a plane. Remember, three letters make a plane. So SQV is a bottom. I'm going to shade that. QRZ is the right side. I'm going to shade that. Two planes intersect at a line. So you need to use a line notation. So the next, so the notation is the line QV. Or obviously VQ, you could write it too. Name two lines that are skew to SQ. So SQ is right here. Something that skew is non-coplanar and doesn't intersect. So YT, and it says name a line, so I need to put YT with a line over it. And ZV would work. ZV, put a line over it. What is a plane parallel, it's got to be a plane, parallel to RVQ? So I'm going to shade RVQ, which is this side right here. What's a plane that would never intersect that plane? Well, it's going to be this plane over here. So when I'm naming a plane, I can use three or four letters, all capital, no space, no commas. So X, Y, T is one way you can name it. You could also name it X, S, T, V. Or TY, same thing. Second one, or number five, name two skew lines to YZ. So here's YZ. Skew would be non coplanar, doesn't intersect. So RQ, now I need to name a line, so I put a line bar underneath it. And also XS works, the line XS. Draw a point U that is coplanar with STV. So where's STV at? STV is the bottom. So draw a point draw a point U. So I'm just gonna put a U on this plane. And then number seven says shade the left side of the fig figure. This is the front, this is the right, so this has to be the left. It's already shaded. So just so you can see it right here, it's shaded. That's the left. Okay, what is the intersection? So where do they cross of the line YT? So I'm gonna draw YT and TS, draw TS. Two lines that intersect, intersect at a point. 
So the point at the intersect is T. Name two parallel planes, two planes that um, never intersect. So I'm going to choose the front and the back. So the front, to name it, take three points or four points. Do not put a comma in between the letters. So X, S, Q is parallel with the back, which is Y, T, Z. And what is the intersection of the plane? Remember when two planes intersect, you get a line. So I'm going to shade X, Y, T. This is getting kind of ugly. And I'm going to shade in black Y, Z, X. So Y, Z, wait, X, Y, T, Z, Y, Z, X. Oh, it's the top. So where the black and the red come together is at the line. The line is YZ, so you need to write a line YZ. Or actually, ZY is fine too. Oh, I put XZ. X, Y, and YX. This is YX. And the last one, name two skew lines to QV. So QV is right here. So skew has to be non-coplanar and doesn't intersect. So I'm going to do this line, which is XS, and this line right here, which is YT.